My name is Peter Evans, I'm the company's EDMS, which is Enterprise Dental Management Systems. We just went with EDMS, which is not quite a big mouthful. Um, very high level background of who we are and where we came from. Um, we're here at Oracle, software in the market, we're here for SAP. <clears throat> so I'm a 30 year veteran of data modeling, data analytics, and the data um, DBA in the Oracle SAP space. So I worked primarily for the last 30 years in financial software that does worldwide integration of corporations. <clears throat> a very good friend of mine who happened to be my dentist as well. And we had a conversation about six years ago and, and I'm just a very curious person. I mean, how do you how do you manage all the information coming out of these 14 clinics on the, on the corporate side? <clears throat> and he said, um, well, I did all this stuff, print out the reports every day and they fax them into head office and take the stack of faxes and take them into another system. I looked at it and I'm going, um, it's 2013, you know. I, I don't think I've even seen a fax machine in 10 years. So it, it kind of posed an interesting question. Um, you know, what's going on in, in the dental industry? I'm coming as an outsider completely. So I had a very different perspective and a, and a fresh set of eyes on, on your business in general. And was introduced to Henry Schein. We ended up in Concord. We had a few conversations with Schein. Concord saying, well, you know, how endemic is this is this environment, this is multi-clinic ownership, and realize that, you know, even though we kind of was around in the Triton days back in the 1980s, um, in the last 10 to 15 years has really been the nucleus for the growth into this multi-ownership market. And one of the problems that are coming out of this growth in multi-clinic ownership and the management of it. And I ended up in New York City talking to the VP of data and analytics for Henry Schein Global Operations, Diana Friedman. And we talked about the whole US market, the growth of the US market. So I actually love seeing Peter's numbers up here because our expectations are those numbers will double or triple in the next 10 years in both Canada and the US. And the DSO market is going to do nothing but continue to evolve. And it won't be at the expense of the private practice. It's going to be because a lot of the new dentists coming in don't want the headache of having to do the management side of the business. They want to do dentistry and they want to go home. And on the corporate side, the PE people, the money people, the accountants, they see the value from the business perspective of dentistry and it's a, it's a worthwhile investment for them. But they too come with a very different perspective on how the world works in dentistry. Well, having said that, um, <clears throat> You know, we talked with Diana about some of the problems endemic into doing some form of integration of dental industry data among groups. So what would be is that everybody runs different practice management languages. So we took another hard look at that and thought, okay, well we've defined it. There's about 18 core packages in Canada. You include the US market, there's brings that up to about 25. So we took on the task of learning all 25 languages. We had to learn dentistry. We had to understand more about your business, so we lived in dental offices for about two years to understand what's going on and what's on the ground. One of the things we realized was the ability to collect and integrate the data at the corporate level, if you will. I'm going to call you a corporate if you've got three clinics or you want to grow into a DSO, you need to become a corporate. It's kind of like juggling. I can bounce a call in one hand quite easily. When you throw two or three and a fourth ball in the equation, it becomes incredibly difficult. And you spend so much time focusing on learning to juggle a ball, you don't actually run your business. Annie? Yes, dear. Look at me.